good, what's good, what's good? It is your ring. And it's Black History Month. So I wanna teach you something. There was a time when African Americans were considered property, so we were not allowed to vote. Even after being freed from slavery in 1863, we were not classified as citizens, so we still did not have the right to vote. People began to march for the civil rights, to allow African Americans to be able to vote. Um, and eventually they threw us a bone and instituted the 15th Amendment in 1870. But you know, there were still roadblocks. Um, there were threats of being lynched. Um, people were being killed, even if you helped a black person register to vote. When African Americans would go to the polls to try to register, they were given all kinds of excuses. There were literacy tests that were given. And at that time, a lot of us, we couldn't read. So how are we going to pass the test? Sometimes they were 20 to 30 pages long. So there were um, obstacles that they put in front of us so that we would not vote, even though we were legally given the right to. Um, but there was, I want to tell you about this one man. He was a custodial worker. And on March 31st of 1870, he did what a lot of African Americans at that time were afraid to do. He became the first African American to cast a vote in the United States. Now, in 2012, we don't have to go through what they went through at that time just to go to the polls and vote. So with this being an election year, there is no reason for you to not get out and exercise that right that many people shed blood, sweat, and tears for you to be able to do. One vote does matter. And I want you to make sure that one vote is yours. Appreciate you for watching.